I just went and got the camera. I suppose I should quickly explain what happened. So, started video on those dogs coming down that that top ridge there, and I was nearly set up. I was ready to shoot, and they ducked down just in that little crevice where I couldn't see them. The wind's real iffy. I thought they may have smelled me. I thought that might have been why they ducked down in there. So I raced up the ridge. I'm just looking down, looking down, looking down, watching Remy's body language. The wind was swirling though. See, she couldn't really... She actually smelt where they'd trotted when I got up here. But, yeah, no sign of them. And I've seen a couple of wallabies just to my left here in this little bit of a thick spot here. And a rock fell down side of the hill and I thought that wasn't a wallaby that did that had a quick look and yeah see this orange dog was probably like 40 50 yards so got got literally just set up over the bipod it was rock steady and then he comes down into little into little gut I couldn't see him pops out 10 yards in front of me so I literally was offhand with the lap parallax on the on the scope was set at 200 yards couldn't see the reticle, but he pretty much filled the scope, like the minimum power on the scope is 7 power, and he filled the scope, and I just, yeah, gave him one, so he's just down here, so go down and get some photos, I think the farmer's going to be gonna be pretty happy about this, and I'll, I'll let the uh, let them know about the, the other dog, I nearly actually got a shot at the other one, it was running off up this opposite face, and I was about to give it one on the run, and as soon as I was about to shoot, it veered off. There was another game trail where it split and it veered off on the other one, which I didn't think it was going to do, so I missed out, which was a bloody shame. It would have been great to get two, but anyway, one dog's better than none. Yeah, so Remy and I were here, and that dog popped out at this stump here, which I've just ranged, well, I'll range it now. It is. 12 yards <laughs> so it was pretty close Well, it's not the biggest dog out, but it's not the smallest either. Big male dog. So, pretty, pretty bloody happy. Shot was front on, exited out the side. Obviously, I've got the, the nicer side on camera there. But anyway, I'm going to rip the, rip the uh, scalp off this guy. 120 bucks. Thanks to the Victorian government. That's their bounty on these dogs. So, it's $120 per dog and $10 per fox for anyone that didn't know. That's Victoria only. So, that'll help pay for that $9 shot I just put into it. 